Crawfish are a legendary freshwater crustacean typically harvested in Louisiana. About 40 years ago, rice farmers like Mike Ferger stumbled onto the fact that the two-year growing cycle of crawfish synced up perfectly with the two-year growing cycle of their rice crop. Now many of Louisiana rice fields are seeded with baby crawfish every other year, which has created an entirely new source of food and income for farmers in the bayou. Today, I'm in Branch, Louisiana at Fruge Aqua Farms to figure out how Cajun crawfish produces over a million pounds of crawfish every year. Hi, welcome to Dan Does. So what stage are we in right now? You're in the, the early summer. Okay. And we're in the canopy stage of the rice crop. We've got cooler water down at the bottom. We've got a canopy on top to protect the, the crawfish. And now we can introduce crawfish to this field. If you just came out in this field when we first planted it and just dumped crawfish out here with no cover, the birds would get them all in a matter of hours. Right. Or the heat would get them. So it's more like the rice as a crop just provides the perfect habitat for the crawfish. And that's kind of how they came together. Yeah. In a few months, the rice will grow out of the canopy stage and be ready for harvest. From there, the fields are flooded to about two feet of water to get ready for crawfish harvesting. Once the crawfish are harvested, the fields are drained all the way down and another round of rice is planted and the cycle continues. This is the boat that we are gonna take out to harvest crawfish. What is this device here? All right, so this is a, this is a push boat. So we right. used to have a fleet of mechanical boats. It took way more energy to repair the fields. Those mechanical boats dig a rut. Wherever they go, there's a rut. Even though it takes more labor to harvest, it's uh, more efficient in the long run because you're, you're not uh, having to go back and repair the fields. So we went back to walking. It's a greener version of crawfish farming. So what we have here is a bag of artificial bait. So it's basically little biscuits, you know? We put one or two of these per trap. Okay, we'll grab a trap, sort it, and then refill the trap with the bait. Correct. So why do we need the gloves? Because the crawfish are- They're nippy? They're nippy. <sighs> Sorry, I should've this, helped you. Yep, you're fine. This is called a pyramid trap. Doesn't look like much, but this is high-tech crawfish farming. Me and my brother and a few people around here sort of invented this top, believe it or not. The way the trap works, is you have these flumes right and the crawfish crawl in they go to the bait and theoretically they can't crawl out see my boat's getting away from me okay so it's a it's a dance it's a dance well the guys that, that do this every day they know exactly how to hold this boat and they, they got it down pat i suck at it because i don't do it every day you're an office cat now i'm an office cat exactly harder than a shopping cart just I will say. yeah harder than a shopping cart so I'm yep. actually kind of nervous. So I'm going to yep. pull this Just thing pull out that trap. and yep. then flip it and flip it. Holy crap, the shit, Jesus. You got, a, you got a load right there. That's crawfishing. OK, then you can bait. just take that bait, put it back in it, take both pieces. Here you go. Because this is a hot spot, right? Yeah. So then I push them in. So that was a good load then, right? Yep. That was a good one. As okay. you're pushing along, you can you can swipe them. And that saves oh, you a gotcha. little time. Swipe yeah. as you're pushing. Holy Christ, bugs. Oh yeah, I can really feel it nipping on my gloves. You gotta hold on to your boat. It's gonna float away. Mate. No hands. He's doing it all by himself. Why not cover this floor in traps? We've learned that you catch most of the crawfish right next to a levee. Okay. It's actually quite uh, pleasant here out on the boat. Mike, I feel like I'm doing honest work here. You are. This is about as honest as it gets right here. I've lost the boat. I've lost the f bait. Oh no. <laughs> It's gone. Don't worry about it. Everything's just flying away from me here. Ah! <laughs> I wasn't scared. They're like very sustainable, right? Because like Crawfish. there would be nothing growing here if not them. That's correct. You're kind of creating protein from nothing. We're, yeah, we're converting rice into protein. And we're all keto, so you yeah, know. There you go. All right, so once you got a full bag, you close the little door. Yep. And you pull each uh, section of the truck. Okay, so this is when it starts being some heavy. Yeah. 
So we're going to tie that bag off and we're going to lay it down in the bottom of the boat. All right, so now we wrap it in this in this burlap sack here. Yeah. So from here, someone's going to come by with an ATV, bring these back, yep. and then we'll sort them. Correct. And we'll cook off a few of them. That's correct. Thanks, guys. From here, the crawfish are brought back to the processing facility where they're washed, graded by size, and then packaged to go out to customers. All right, Mike, we're back. We're in the processing line now. Yeah, um, we're in the processing line. Who's this, this man here? This is Ed Guidry, director of operations over here. Ed runs the whole plant, actually runs the whole farm, him and another guy. Just like this? Yep. And then spread it? Yes, just spread it over the top, just like that. Wow, this just is so Just like cool. that, just shake them out. And clear and little bugs and right, little debris. Correct. Okay. And the mud. How fast do you want to do it? Oh, you can do it faster than that. <laughs> you want to keep the belt full. Okay. So this machine is not moving very fast, but it's moving a little bit faster than you, right? <laughs> when, you, when you harvest a crawfish out the field, yeah. everything gets in the trap, small and large. That's what the next machine does, is separate those by size. All right, let's cruise on. So there's essentially three That's sizes. three different sizes right here. This is going back for seed. Correct. That's a medium to large, and that's the large. So the way that the grater works is there's a series of tubes along this line and they slowly spread out as they get to the end there, getting wider and wider. So here only the little guys are let in and these ones are gonna go back to seed to, to, to set up for next year's crop. And then the middle and the large are here. These are the ones that are going out to, uh, to the customers. This is one of the final stages. He's sorting by eye to make sure what, there's no dead ones, no, no weird dead stuff. Ones, no fish, no turtles, you know, right. the snails of bad problem this time of year. We're scanning here to look for ones that are banged up and uh, ones that are dead. And when they're dead, you toss them in the reject bin. You don't look down, you look up. Okay. You look up before they get here so you can spot them out before they get here. Once they fall on the You're dead. belt, it's kind of hard to see them. You see that? You see how that? It's not moving. There you go, just like that. That's what you want to look for. Look, you got a crack one right here. That one right there. Okay. See the tail broke off. After you do it for 35 years, you get a, a knowing what to look for. There's so many crawfish. So what's going on on this last okay. step? They actually rolling up the belt, yep. falling in the sucker, and it weighs up about 30 pounds at the time. When they get 30 pounds, it'll shut off and spin, and the man will catch it. They'll take them from here, and they're going to load them up straight on the truck. How'd I do? Good. Hired? Oh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> These are the little guys that are going back into They're the going. rice crops Correct. to get ready for next year. For next year. Oh, hell yeah. All right. So we'll go see them dump off. We're going to go watch them dump them out. Yep. We spent all that time catching them like we did this morning. Right. Then we go sort them out and we move them to another place. Someday, I guess we'll figure out an easier way to do it. But right now, it's just a lot of hard work. All right. This far enough? Yeah, that's good. Now that the cycle is complete, it's finally time to see how some Louisiana locals cook up and peel the crawfish. Dan, this is Mark, my brother, Mark Fouge. Hey Dan, nice to meet you. Mark's the, right, the Mark. farmer. Yeah. I'm the salesman. He does all the work. I sell Sorry. everything. <laughs> he likes the PR work. Yeah, I'm the PR guy. We're gonna boil up some crawfish? Yeah, we're gonna boil up some crawfish. We got a little custom boiler right behind you. Oh, you guys make this too? So, so this is some of our private label seasoning. Don't ask me what's in the recipe, I forgot. Been so long ago. How long now, about five, 10 minutes? About five minutes, 10 minutes. You ready to dump? Yes. All right. You put it all? Yes. You trying to kill me? Give him some corn. I got a corn. There you go. <laughs> now. Perfect. So the first thing you want to do is find the biggest one in your platter. Basically, you put your thumb under the tail. You're going to push in a little bit. Twist. That's hot. 
and pull it out. You squeeze the bottom of the tail and you wiggle it out. I've already butchered it, right? No, no, you could. I'll get there. <laughs> there you go. So you're starting ripping already? Yeah, I'm just pulling them out. I'm, I'm just letting Mark demonstrate while I eat. It's like the best part of lobster and shrimp. Pretty much. Exactly. Wow. Mm hmm And now we just sit in silence and... So now you you drink a beer or you drink water or whatever. You talk you know, a lot if you, you have talk a lot. big family yeah. here. You said when you guys first started, yeah. crawfish were just like a thing that someone would occasionally have, right? Yeah. And now it's... Now it's a giant industry. Now it's an industry. industry. Yeah. Thank you guys again for, uh, for having me out here. You're very welcome. We, we really enjoyed having you guys.